Hello everyone and welcome to Sparkle English. Today's mini lesson is on the difference between pair, pair, and pair. It's very common for English language learners to get confused about how to spell or use these words correctly since they are homophones and sound exactly the same. Let's learn the difference between these three words. Pair, spelled P-A-I-R, can be a noun or a verb. As a noun, it means two identical or similar things that go together. It also means something consisting of two parts or pieces joined together. I need to buy a new pair of shoes. The pair of lovebirds were singing in the tree. Do you have a pair of sunglasses I can borrow? Justin and Selena made a cute pair. As a verb, to pair means to arrange in groups of two. Can you pair the socks together from the laundry pile? The teacher paired the children for the activity. Now let's review the word pair, spelled P-E-A-R. Pear is a noun. A pear is a green-colored fruit that is narrow at the top and wide at the bottom. Let's look at some examples. The pear was sweet and juicy. The pear trees are starting to blossom. She has a pear-shaped figure. Now let's review the word pear, spelled P-A-R-E. Pear is a verb. It means to cut the outer layer of a fruit or vegetable. Mom is going to pair the apples. Can you use the paring knife to pare the carrots? Now let's look at some mixed examples using pear, pear, and pear. I packed a pair of pears for the picnic. What drink would pair well with pear pie? I have to pair the pears before the kids eat them. Now it's your turn to practice. Write sentences with pear, pear, or pear in the comment section. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to Sparkle English for more videos on how to improve your level of English. Thanks for watching.